Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. Um, I'm sure that you've all watched on Fox News or some other news channel when uh, there's a hurricane that's coming and is going to hit, usually it's gonna hit Florida and these uh, news agencies are, are just giddy. They're so excited that a hurricane's about to hit and um, of course they try to act like it's a horrible thing but they it's like when they make their money or something, but, <laughs> and you, usually you see Geraldo on there trying to make sure his hair is right because he thinks he looks so good. <laughs> but anyway, um, one thing that you've probably seen when you're watching those, the hurricane coverage is that, is that at some point the hurricane, when it's coming through and you see those high winds, at some point they always tell you that we're now in the eye of that hurricane and once they're in the eye of that storm everything as is as calm as it is normally uh, as if there was no storm at all and then and then once that eye wall when you're in the middle of that storm once it passes over the winds get just as bad or worse on the other side of the storm as it as the eye wall passes you and <clears throat> when I think of where we are with XRP right now um, that's how I see this we had the run up in December and, and we're sitting right in the eye wall while a lot of, I, the way I see it, a lot of the, a lot of the um, probably Wall Street people saw December and I think it really scared them. I think it scared them not in a bad way, I think it scared them in a, in a way where they said, wait a minute, this is for real. And they started and they said, we've got to, we've got to put a stop to this and we've got to figure out a way how we can get in and get ahead of this thing because now it's legit. And if you remember for the two to four years prior to that, they did nothing but talk about how illegitimate it was. And so they were late to the party and what you're going through right now is just them positioning themselves in my opinion. But what I wanted to talk about today is how the financial world as a part of what they're doing, the financial world is changing right before your eyes. And what's great about it is that XRP is going to be at ground zero. It is at ground zero of what's going on. And I want to show you what's happening. Um, this is from the Wall Street Journal. Um, let's see when this was. This was on May 18th. And it's an article about how the cryptocurrency firms are exploring getting banking licenses okay and the reason I thought to talk about this today so if you think about it uh, a cryptocurrency exchange basically was they have been operating I think there's been some Bitcoin licenses but other than that um, from a regulation standpoint in our in the US at least you, you have banks and they have to have certain licensing and you have brokerages and they have to have certain licensing and then uh, the cryptocurrency exchanges kind of split all that right in the middle and nobody has really known what to do with them. Well, as we've been talking about, you've had some uh, of these digital assets that they're even trying to figure out what to call them, whether they're a utility or a security or a this or that. Um, and so, but, but what, you, what, what the big ball that you should be looking at is, is that the world is changing, the financial world's changing. And these cryptocurrency firms, you're starting to see them come out in the news and it's little, little by little, but what's forming is that you're not going to have financial institutions in the traditional sense that you're used to, where you go to a bank and you open a bank account. If the banks don't change with all of this, they won't be a bank. If they want to be someone who, where you just go and open a banking bank account, they won't be there in the next five years is my prediction. And I'll show you some examples of what's going on right now. Um, well, there, once again, now that I started the video, my lo it's loading slowly. But anyway, okay. So this one was uh, Crypto Startup Uphold. This is what I saw this morning that, that uh, told me I needed to make this video. Uh, usually it's an article that just screams at me that we need to talk about this. And this is the one I saw this morning. I've been using Uphold recently. Uh, Uphold has been the, the, that's the first time for me that I've found a, 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 a new crypto exchange that worked for me 
to go from US dollars into XRP. Um, I did have trouble with the credit card part of it, but to go, I've been able to go from bank account US dollars to XRP on Uphold, and I've done it very successfully. It's a great site. I suggest all of you use it. Um, it's Uphold.com. But this article this morning was that Uphold is moving to become a licensed US broker dealer. Now, why do you think they're going to do that? Well, if you live in a world where some things are some of some cryptocurrencies are classified as a security, of course they want that they they're holding all of these these cryptocurrencies. So what if one of them is declared a security? Well, they want to be a broker dealer. So what's going to happen is that you we're going to be in a world over the next few years where there's a who knows the government will probably come up with one license that encompasses broker dealer cryptocurrency as well as bank but you're seeing we're not just seeing them wanting to become broker dealers we're also seeing and this one right here is where circle circle which is the um cryptocurrency exchange backed by goldman sachs is seeking a banking license because they all see where this is going the bank with a banking license, a broker license, and, and a license to sell crypto, you, you can see a day very soon probably where uh, uh, you go to a bank and you, you, you're not even necessarily opening a, an account in any given currency, US dollar or anything else. You're just opening an account. And when you open that account, you may, you may get to just decide what you want to you may want to have xrp in that account and that'll be fine and what i'm fixing to show you is what's going to how that applies to your xrp and why this is so huge for we xrp holders because i believe that xrp will be the one digital currency that they all flow through in other words it'll be a pass through of almost everything but I just wanted to go through these to show you all of these, the, the major players, Circle, Coinbase, Uphold, all these major players in this business, this is what they're doing. They're, they want to be completely mobile. And the reason they want to be completely mobile is because they know and, and have banking, uh, banking broker and brokerage and crypto covered is because they know that this is going to where Ripple what Ripple's been working on all along is is basically an interledger where all bank accounts, all brokerage accounts, all credit card accounts, all any kind of account involving money, they go through each other and communicate with each other. Whether you own Ethereum or a US dollar or whatever you own, they will all go through an interledger and and it'll it'll all be seamless. You may never even see it. You may just hold XRP in your account because that's what you love or you may hold the Chinese yuan in your account. That may be your thing, but it won't matter because they'll all work together and they'll work together instantly if Ripple has anything to do with it, which I think it will have everything to do with it. Um I wanted to show one more article here. Ooh, Warren Buffett, don't like him lately. Um I wanted to show one more article here. This is where Coinbase acquires Keystone Capital. This is a while back, but it's, it, it is uh, reinforcing my point. Coinbase acquires Keystone so that they can, in a bid to become a regulated broker dealer. They just did an acquisition so that they probably shortcut the, the process. Um, and so, but you can see it's all here right in front of your face what's going on. If I was a traditional banker, I would be scurrying around right now to figure out how to play this because it's happening. And they, if they don't do something about that, this is the reason that all these banks, they've been going about it the wrong way. They've been trying to prevent people from getting into Bitcoin and all these things. Well, I believe all that's going to change very soon, too. I believe they're going to be a part of the solution instead of a part of the problem because they're going to start changing themselves over or merging and being acquired to to uh, go in this direction because this is where the world's going now. My final thing I want to show you is why you as an XRP holder are at the very center of this universe. Um, this was a graphic I found online that said maybe this is why Ripple needs 100 billion XRP. And uh, one thing my father said to me early on when he when I first told was talking to him about Ripple, that's what he said to me is is 
with with this much with with a hundred billion you're liquid enough to do a lot more things and to be involved in a lot more financial transaction and a lot more of what's going on in the financial world and so um this is huge but those of you that have not heard ripple um, uses xrp as the digital asset with with uh, that works in conjunction with their software and everything but ripple the company has created what's called the interledger protocol and the interledger protocol is just if you can imagine it's if you can just imagine debits and credits a ledger where bitcoin can go through that ledger and and it all gets settled out and bitcoin can be transferred to an account that only accepts ripple and it's exchanged and everything works seamlessly well imagine a financial world where all parties are involved whether it's apple pay a google wallet banks bank accounts us dollar the chinese yuan a hedge fund is moving money and it's move, all moving through the inner ledger. Let's say a hedge fund is moving money, but the guy, someone on the other end, he, there's U.S. dollars, and it's coming through the inner ledger and passes through XRP, but eventually ends up to somebody else in Bitcoin. That's the world where we are going, and it's a fascinating world. And anybody who even thinks they're going to stand in the way of this and what's fixing to happen is out of their minds. So the final thing I will tell you is ripples 46 cents today let's go back to uh my uh let's go back to my hurricane i showed you uh we're right there in the eye of the storm and so it's time it's it's time to put your big boy pants on these are the times when you when you uh when the wealthy love these times and so when there's blood in the streets is when the is when the the people that are smart make their money so i'm doing it i i i, I bought another uh, 100 or so xrp this morning off of uphold so um i'm not saying i'm not telling anybody uh to do anything i that i'm not doing so anyway uh, i appreciate y'all watching um i wanted to go over a couple of things the first is that i'm not an investment advisor i'm the digital asset investor uh, this is for entertainment purposes only. Second thing I wanted to say is don't buy digital currencies unless you're going to put them on a ledger wallet, the safest hard wallet that you can have to store your digital assets. You can go in the description of all my videos and there's a link that takes you straight to the ledger company to buy it. And that's the only way to do it. It's the only safe way to buy one is straight from ledger. The next thing I wanted to tell you is that I, uh, I've had a lot of requests for cryptocurrency merchandise and where I get it. And so I linked to a store where you can buy cryptocurrency uh, merchandise. I also They also gave me a, uh, if you use um, Digital Asset Investor, it's in, in the description of my videos. If you use Digital Asset Investor as a code, they'll give you a 20% discount on anything that you buy. Um, their store does have merchandise with the um, new logo, but they're going to, in the next week, they're going to be adding much more merchandise with the new logo. And so go check that out as well. Hey, thank y'all for listening. I'm the digital asset investor and I've got to go back to the day job. Thanks.